A lot of the campers come here are usually first time campers all around, so like it's their first time ever being away from home at a summer camp, uh, which means that a lot of them end up being homesick at times. That's something that uh, isn't too unusual at the camp. But I'll tell you, 99% of the time, by the end of the week, the kids are basically begging not to leave, are always, you know, telling their parents, oh, I want to come back next year, it's just so much fun. And it really, I think, helps them break out of their shell, being surrounded by a ton of people who all, you know, share one similarity, um, whether it be they like camp or they all have Tourette. Yeah. So at camp, there's a lot of different activities, but it's any traditional YMCA camp. You go swimming, you go boating, there's zip lining, there's arts and crafts, there's um, the flag up and the flag down, there's songs being sung. Um, the only difference is there's a little bit more noise with our ticks and there's a little bit more movements. Very, uh, that was a tick, that was a tick. Hello, my name is Aiden. I am at Tourette's camp. We did a lot of activities. I'll name some of them. Horseback riding, blobbing, fuse beads, and so you get beads and I don't know the whole process. I just know you put beads together and like it'll, they cook it or something. I'm pretty sure they iron it, yeah. So I will want to come back next year. I'm Sarah Matchin. I'm the director of Camper Success. And so what that means is kids are having a hard week or are homesick. Um, you know, I help them through it and help them have a really awesome week. High ropes course is really, um, really fun. And what's really cool about high ropes is some kids who are really anxious, um, you see, challenge themselves more than they've ever challenged themselves before and accomplish things they didn't think they could. And it's just really neat to see the pride on their faces when they reach a new height or conquer a new obstacle. Um, it's awesome to watch. Jumping off is the hardest part because like it's against every natural instinct. Having been here for you know 19 years now I've seen kids grow up and just seen the, the you know, friendships and the just extended family they've created through camp and the people they meet here. <laughs> uh, when I was here as a camper um, I guess my favorite thing was also kind of you know interacting with other kids with Tourette's because um, this is really you know really one of the only places you can do that especially you know with this many people. <laughs> um, I didn't really know anybody with Tourette's until I came here, so it was kind of kind of a cool new experience. Able to kind of, you know, feel relaxed and, you know, not judged and open to tick and talk about it with whoever you want and kind of ask questions, you know, hey, do you do this or do you do that? Um, you know, you can't really do that anywhere else. I'm Caleb. I'm from Valparaiso, Indiana. This is my second year here, so definitely coming back next year. I like to do archery. And downstairs they had some arts and crafts and stuff, and it was really cool. They also had a bunch of board games out. It was like the funnest rainy day ever. Today, there was this one of the counselors, his name is Ethan, and one of the kids, his name is Josh. Josh is like nine years old, and Josh, he went on the end of the block, yeah. and Ethan jumped off, and Josh went flying. I would say that the biggest thing that camp has done for me um, growing up was it uh, gave me a second chance <coughs> to, I guess, kind of socialize myself. Because uh, that was the hardest thing that I struggled with uh, growing up. You know, making making friends in school, and then that's that's kind of a common theme here with a lot of kids. Coming in. So coming here to camp, you kind of get a second chance to you know meet people. You get to figure out where you stand, and you know you're not you're not too worried about your tics this time because everyone has it, and you know you, they see it, you see it, but you know, no one no one's staring, no one cares, no one's gonna ask you about it. Uh, that's you know that's why I keep coming here. I want to give those uh, I want to give kids the same opportunity that I had to uh, figure myself out. I definitely give this place a lot of credit for. Who I am now. My favorite part about camp is having one week out of the year that you're just like everybody else and um, you can be yourself and don't feel like you have to hide um, any part of you. 